Good morning, Keller Williams. Welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 21. So today we are going to dive into our Opportunities applet. It is one of the most important applets inside of KW Command, one of the most used because it's required in order to get paid at all of your KW offices. So super important. More important, it helps you track your entire business to make sure that ideally you never miss an opportunity, excuse the pun, to help a family, help a buyer, a seller, a tenant, a landlord, and then ultimately help yourself by getting paid. So we're gonna dive into the opportunities and start off with our pipeline view. So opportunities is our handshake icon here, sixth icon down for our applet. And when we get to this screen, your screen may look slightly different than mine. This Pro Coach account is a demo account that is set up as a team account. If you are a solo agent, you're not going to see this first tab where it says team, and you're not going to see the fourth tab where it says all discussions. So as a solo agent, you're just gonna see a tab with your name and then a tab that says all opportunities. If you are on a team, your screen will look similar to mine. Uh, there is some nuance here in that uh, you'll wanna discuss if you are on a team, how your Rainmaker wants opportunities built because there are two separate pipeline views, one for your team and one for your personal. For this challenge, we're gonna stick with the personal pipeline and I'm going to train specifically to the personal pipeline and how to build opportunities as a solo agent. So once we come in, uh, as in all things command, if we were to build a brand new opportunity, we would just do so by clicking on that blue green button in the top right hand corner. We're gonna to get to that, just not today. As we scroll down inside of this opportunities main screen, you're gonna see we have three pipelines. So we've got a listing pipeline, a buyer pipeline, and then a lease pipeline. Important to know that the lease pipeline includes those leases you're working on when you're representing a tenant and those that you represent the landlord. Inside of each one of these three pipelines, there are five phases per pipeline. So we have a cultivate phase, an appointment phase, active, under contract, and closed. Those are the same between our listing and buyer pipeline. We get down to the lease pipeline. It's a little bit different in that we don't really go under contract per se with leases. We're just pending the you know formalities of closing out that actual lease opportunity. Each one of these five phases in your three pipelines, they are locked. They are not customizable. So the names will remain the same. The order will remain the same. Uh, you do have some flexibility, however, once we dive into each one of these phases, and we'll do that momentarily. I did want to just point out as you continue to move to the right, you've got potential income versus probable income. That's going to make sense when we get into our custom stages and start viewing those and when we actually build out our opportunities. So just kind of stay tuned for what this looks like. In addition, if you scroll down, you're gonna get some more activity down here at the bottom. You're gonna get a ratio and breakdown of your three opportunity types, how many you have of each, and what the probable and potential income are for each of those. You've got an activity graph here that kind of breaks down per month all of your opportunities, and then you can change that to show you just your listing buyer, landlord, or tenant, and how many you have taken or built per month. Finally, at the very bottom, you've got a closing this month, that's obviously when you get your opportunity either to pending or under contract, you put in that close date, it'll then tell you which opportunity you have closing for that current month. As we scroll back up, we're gonna look at each one of these phases, cultivate appointment, active, under contract, and close. We're just gonna start off with the cultivate phase. And I'm gonna show you as you click, right? As you click on any of these circles just below the word, kind of in this general area per phase, you're gonna get opened into a new view here. Uh, sort of a Trello style column view of particular stages within each one of your phases. So we're now breaking down kind of the time frame in which you spend time in each one of those phases into even smaller time frames called stages. And you've got some default stages already built for you. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how we can make changes add or subtract these stages. We can reorder those as well, and we'll show you that. But just to kind of go through, you can see you've got three stages in Cultivate for your bot, uh, listing pipeline. You've got three stages in your appointment phase of your listing pipeline. When we go active, we've got three stages. 
under contract, and you can see down here there is a slider bar, we actually have five stages in our under contract phase. And then once we get to closed, just one stage, it's the closed stage for the closed phase. If we go back, it looks very similar. If we go into our buyer pipeline, we've got three stages for cultivate. We've got three for appointment. We've got three for active. Once we go under contract, we've got some additional ones, five stages here, and then back to closed as well. Finally, when we get to our last pipeline there, it's gonna look rather similar again. Three, three, two in this case, right? And pending, we've really only got one, and then closed as well. In this stage view, I did want you to take note that traditionally you've got the board view. This style is highlighted. You can change that to a list view if that's your preference. If you'd like to see top to bottom versus left to right, you can change that view as well. Tomorrow what we're going to do is dive into uh, these custom stages themselves. Some of the customizations, the changing of the name, uh, the, the uh, likely or possibility to close, right? The probability to close is the word I was looking for there, excuse me. Um, and how we can kind of really customize what this pipeline looks like for each one of you and your businesses. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.